Hey folks, it's Ridgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Training protocol completed. I've got a little bit more training to go and do over here with Straticus. And this will be level 3 training protocol. So let's... Uh, yeah, do let's do it. Challenge accepted. I will use level 3 training protocol. That's what I'm concerned about. Your level 3 seems to be quite drastic. Oh, and, and you're a turnaround as well. I, I, I don't like that either. Spin round. Let's, let's boost on the old primary stat there and, and keep that one moving. I'm going to stun you in place for a minute. That's going to help me a little bit. There, I can keep slamming you down with all of these different moves that I've got. Whirling blades. i got to keep an eye on the... I can't interrupt the whirling blades. i just got to watch them and then spin round every time they are deployed. Whenever whirling blades is used, be it, be prepared and then I can like jump round behind them. Crescent strike. Whirling blades. She's about to turn round. And I'm right in front. I can't... I preempted that move. Not that one. I did preempt the first time. I was waiting for a cooldown on here. That's, what I, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I was waiting for a cooldown. There's another one. And then I've got a finishing move in there that I can now start to use. To get the whirling blades and Training doom. Protocol is completed. Doom. Done. This boom. combat sequence ends. That was supposed to be boom, and I said done and boom at the same time. That's how I came out with doom. Quite sure how we managed to get to that. Right, I don't want you. I don't, I'm not riding around on Azjatar Blood Serpent. That just doesn't seem like the right mount to be riding on in a place like this. Not really. It, it just seems wrong. Right, Pelagos. Share your words of wisdom. To fight so many in so short a time is truly a feat of stamina. I'm tired just looking at you. Yeah, I get that a lot. People always say that looking at me just wears them out. Or might that just be me spending time with them? Something like that. I can't really remember now. I believe in you. I believe in you too. See, they're so positive around here. I love it. I serve not only Bastion, but all of the Shadowlands. Impressive. I see I have little enough to teach you. Our purpose is to serve. It is clear to all you are indeed a skilled combatant. There is one challenge here that continues to test even the strongest among us. I would have you attempt to best a well-known centurion, beloved by all aspirants. It is called Athenos. Consider this a test of your spirit. If you can withstand this trial, then I will deem you ready for what lies ahead. Our come back nothing, mortal. Right, I can do it. I can defeat the mighty Athenos. Oh, we're ready for this. That cooldown there. Um, we got divine shield. This dude initiating is... humility sequence. Humility sequence. I'm not sure I like the humility sequence. I'm not sure I like that at all. Power stomp. It is not yet Ouch. time for you to ascend. Ah, that never gets easier to watch. A necessary lesson in humility. Okay, right. I had to just answer a phone call from real life, which kind of broke things a little bit. You may have heard it ringing. <laughs> you may have heard my phone ringing in the background just while Athanos was handing me my lesson in humility. And that was fully intended. That's what he does. He, he, he teaches you the art of humility. Um, yes. Athanos says, it is not yet time for you to ascend. Ah, that never gets easier to watch. A necessary lesson in humility. That's absolutely brilliant. Right, uh, oh. Those aren't the two I'm supposed to be speaking to. This is Claire. How may I serve you? Wait, why doesn't the Forge Light have wings? The Forge Light should have, I thought the Forge Light was an ascent. She is ascended. So is Claire. Oh, they are. They're, they're all the Ascended. Um, but they, they want to get wings. I thought Forge Light had wings. Anyway, right. This is always a painful lesson. We do not think less of you for it. Whatever the challenge, we shall rise to it. Speak. I would hear you. Ah, uh, Athenos. It remains undefeated, as intended. Still, 
have exceeded any expectation I might have had. You are stronger than many that have come before you. You have come here for a purpose and Clea has illuminated a path that she believes you can walk. I agree. I have opened the way to the Crucible's final rite. Follow the path to the south and east. There you will find the entrance to the Chamber of First Reflection. Claire will instruct you further. Go in service, Grondorn. May your forge burn brightly. I will meet you there, Aspirant. Be ready for a challenge. I will. I will absolutely be ready for a challenge. Right. Where do we need to go? We need to go down there, Chamber of First Reflection. Towards the Aspirant's... Oh, that's where we came in, into the Vestibule of Eternity. And then we're over here at the moment. Right. Uh, wait a minute. What do we got? Meccano, I think Meccano Strider is okay. So it's down through here, and... Where do we go from this point? Ah, just down through here. Okay. Ooh, there's a, there's a chest over there. Purifying Draft. Aspirant's Awakening. Where is this Purifying Draft? There it is. You see it? No, that's not it. I thought that was it. Oh, it's here. There we go. Just there for everybody to see. Purifies friendly target, removing all poison, magic, disease, and curse effects. Three charges, it lasts one day. Is that it? There's much better things to be found in chests scattered around the maps. There really is. Trust me on this, there is some very cool stuff. Including some rather cool pets as well. Some of which I even managed to get before Send did. Which I feel is quite an accomplishment in and of itself. It's something that I can be proud of. Beating Sen. Not literally. She really beat me up if I tried to do that. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I definitely didn't do that. The drought holds strong. We must find a solution. Gather yourself. This is how you will find your way before the Archon. I am certain of it. We will fix this drought. We must. The situation may feel familiar, Grondon. When you found Pelagos, he was undergoing a similar rite. As you saw, it can end in violence. This will be the first time you are asked to draw out the burdens that held you to a mortal life. It may be a painful process. It is for many. It's likely to be painful for me. I'm still mortal! For you, this is the path you must walk to attain your goals. To earn the right to stand among us. To be heard. So we may carry your message to the Archon herself. Center yourself. When you are prepared, we will begin. Keep a I have readied some items in the next chamber. They will help you prepare. You do know I'm actually still just a mortal, yes? So technically this could be a lot more difficult for me to let go of the things that held me on the mortal plane. I don't think this is very fair, to be honest. Don the vestments. Ooh, schnazzy. I look sexy. Let's go over here and have a look. Look at me! I mean, it's a bit dark around here, so you can't see all that well, but I think I look pretty good. Uh, ring the Vespers of... Well, it says bathe in the pool, so we'll bathe in the pool next. Probably a good idea. We have been training really hard, so, you know, we, we, we kind of need to... Um, we, we, we need, we need to, um, to wash our pits. Despite the fact that I can already see um, Master Ugwe. Not Master Ugwe. Not Master Ugwe. Who is it? Master... No! I can't remember! Shifu! Master Shifu! I can almost see Master Shifu sitting on the side saying, Panda, we do not wash our pits in the pool of sacred tears. But he's, he's not here. But it, it, I, yeah... If I was playing a panda character, I would expect him to be there saying it. Ring the Vespers of Clarity. Right, I have purified myself. I have washed my pits in the Pool of Sacred Tears. And I have rung the Vespers of Clarity. I am ready for my cleansing of all things mortal. Which is... I'm still Allow concerned about this because I'm not actually dead. I would only continue if you are absolutely certain you are ready, Grandorn. A cleansing of this kind can be dangerous. 
And I would not be able to aid you beyond words. Are you certain you are ready? Well, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Whatever the challenge in the chamber below, you will confront and subdue your deepest memories. Few aspirants advance to this trial so quickly. If you succeed, you will have proven yourself to the Ascended. Okay. Well, I'm... I feel like I might be ready. I'm kind of hoping that I'm ready. You know, what What with everything that's at stake here. that There is, there is an awful lot at stake here. So, uh, it, it could be a bit tricky to actually go any further than this. Um... But at the same time, I don't have any choice. So whilst this is going to be extremely difficult, if I fail, potentially the whole of Azeroth is doomed. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's not like I can turn around and say, you know what, I don't really want to do this. So let's go and peer into the first soul mirror over Peer into the soul mirror. You must delve deeper. Try again. Well, he doesn't look like he wants me to try again. Grundorn's malignant reflection. Makes me sound like I'm my own personal cancer growth. That's not very friendly, really. A malignant reflection. I don't like the sound of that. Right, well, we've defeated him. We, we, we've, we've taken on one of them. Goodbye. I'm so used to playing with my warlock. Once he gets to, like, 5% health, it just stand around and wait for them to die at that point there is still more you must pull from yourself open yourself to it try it there's two of them now this isn't good they're spreading i don't like this at all right i can do this i can absolutely do this let's just keep spamming all of my ability. I'm, I'm just basically just mashing all of these keys down here anybody that's unsure of what i'm doing um, I just keep pressing all of them. So I, I've previously said over and over the abilities that I'm using all the time. I'm not going to keep doing that because generally pe the feedback I've been getting is that it just sort of confuses things and it breaks immersion a little bit. So just, uh, you know, we'll, we'll fight and we'll see what we can do. And I'll try not to name the there. abilities constantly this too much. This is the moment you must overcome. What particular moment is this? Just an anguished memory. Remember, we are a paladin. We chose the path of becoming a paladin because our family... It's a, it's a, it's a beautifully tragic backstory that we've got. You know, any Dungeons & Dragons player would be proud of our backstory. Uh, we're middle-aged. Our wife and children were slaughtered by rampaging murlocs in Elwyn Forest. And that's when we decided to take up the hammer and truly become a warrior for the light. Um, before that, we didn't do a lot of fighting. So I say I've been fighting for 20 years. Rest now. It is finished. Not fully 20 years, though, is it? But I have managed to fight off the anguished memory. Now, next up, uh, I've got my Kyrian Ritual Vestments. I can take those off if I want to. Maybe we'll get changed before we come out of here. We, we've done that, so we'll, we'll get changed. We'll change back into our normal outfit. And we've now walked the path of purification. Even though it kind of feels wrong to use this magic in here, like running around inside with a, a magical horse, it it's still just going to speed things up a little bit, isn't it? And there is Claire. I serve not only Bastion, but all of the Shadowlands. This is a moment worthy of celebration, Grundorn. Claire smiles broadly at you. You've done it. They have come. Who has? Your cleansing is complete and you are whole. Our plan was a success. Undergoing such a rite so soon after your arrival has attracted Callisthene's attention once more. Now is our opportunity to request an audience with the Archon. Stand before her and be proud of what you have accomplished. No matter what happens now, you have done all that any aspirant could hope to. Our purpose is to serve. 
Right, so we need to go and present ourselves before the Archon. However, I we am going to have to take a break. Calisthene waiting. Oh, Calisthene, not Calisthene. Calisthene. Um, do I need to just walk with her and listen to her talk? I kind of need to, like, uh, uh, I need to take a short break, unfortunately. I don't think she says anything. She might. No, she's not. She's she's disappeared at this point. So what I can actually do is I can go back and we can come and like just complete this a little bit later. So uh, what you may see is a very short jump onto our um, alt. And I'm just wondering if I should start off. No, it's not worth actually bothering to start doing any cooking or anything. I am going to return me to the Ring of Fates. I am going to return back to, there we go, Arabos for a bit and rest up and then we can fly back here um, once we've had a little short break. And I'm back here in Stormwind just for a minute. I'm going to collect the mail. I'm also going to get rid of that one there so that I've got my just normal outfit on here. So I'm a level one character and the thing that one thing that I know that, you know, it, it does kind of break things up. We're, we're about to go and turn in that thing with um, Grundorn, and now I'm suddenly here back in Stormwind on this character. But, I mean, this is part of the game. You do switch between characters with this game. And, yes, we have the whole immersion. We get into the story and that. But this is also another aspect of the game is, is uh, you, you can switch between different characters. And you can experience a story with one. You can experience another bit of story with another one. And... I was just literally, it just struck me. Like, I, I jumped in here and I had the whole Stormwind soundtrack going on. And I'm looking around. There's not very many people running around at the moment. Um, and Stormwind still feels the same as more than a decade ago when I first came here. And I did a little bit of questing and stuff over here. It's around in Northshire. I mean, the quests were a little bit different then. Um, you still had Northshire Abbey, and you came out, you went down to Goldshire, and then you came into Stormwind for the first time. And you came in through here, and you said, well, you didn't actually come in through the main gate, because you come into the Griffin Perch over there. So you, you actually come in up around that piece over there. But you do, you, you walk in Stormwind, and this same guy right here, Renato Galina. How are you? is still wanting you to go to the Galena winery and bring Suzetta Galena the wine ticket for a free bottle of wine. Um, you know, it's... See you later. you still got these basic quests going on here. And there's something so pleasing about starting a brand new character in... I'm, I've always loved starting human characters because I really love the very starting areas for the human zone. Um, and coming into Stormwind for the first time, the Dwarf one and the Night Elf one and so on, they, they are good. Um, but there's just something about coming into Stormwind for the first time. I just I just love it. So I, I just wanted to say that. Also, I want to go and have a look in the cheese shop. We have in here the Mistress of Cheese, right? This shop actually has, we have the Apprentice of Cheese, Ben Trias, we have Elaine Trias over there, who is the Mistress of Cheese. Okay, what kind of an awesome title is that? Mistress of Cheese. That you, it, As far as titles are concerned, it does not get much better than Mistress of Cheese. So I'm going to have a look at Elaine Trias right there. I'm going to frame her, and I'm going to pause, and I'm going to actually use her as the uh, thumbnail for today. Um... Regardless of what else I actually do in this episode, I want Mistress of Cheese on my thumbnail for today. It's, it's just, what a title. I now have Mistress of Cheese, thus that's sorted for the thumbnail. I now also really, hang on, really, we'll, we'll spell it right, really, really want to be able to earn the title of Master slash Mistress of Cheese. I think that would be something awesome. I want to be Frithgar, Master of Cheese. I think that would be amazing. Why can't I be the Master of Cheese? Anyway, 
Uh, we're going to wander back over this way, and we are going to open our mail. We'll see what we sold out of all the stuff that I had last time. I listed a whole load of it, and I listed it fairly cheap as well. I'm uh, about to get some mail. Finally pulled the old pelts out of the guild bank for you to sell. Right. Okie dokie. We will do what we can with those. So we got Swiftness Potions, 27 of those we sold for 500 gold. The gold bars, uh, well, one gold bar with the look of it, uh, six gold. Wool Cloth, 123, we sold those. Dark Rune, ooh. I didn't think Dark Runes actually sold. Uh, True Silver Ore, Infernal Brimstone, Bolt of Ember Silk Cloth, I sold all of those. And uh, we've got some Iron Bars sold. Mote of Life, we got rid of those. Uh, one enchant for shield, major strength, and an enchant weapon elemental thing over there. And we've got a whole load of stuff that has been returned. So some of that I will end up selling to the merchant. Some of it I will relist. And now we've also got some mail from Sia. It, it, well, actually, if I close that and then... Sure has received mail from Sia. I got two lots here. Oh, we've got a whole load of pets. We've got lots of pets right here. We will list... I don't know how much we get for those, though. I don't think you get a huge amount. We are down to just 88 items. We had well over 100 last time I did this. So we're making some progress getting rid of some of these. Ooh! Sen just reached level 60. Did you see that? Uh, roster there. Monday, May uh, Maylee just earned level 60. Let me just wait a second until I've opened up all of this mail. And then, then I will do number five. She's got five characters now at level 60. That is insane. I've got one. Now, the Frithgar has reached level 60. But that's it. I've, I've got one. She has got five characters at level. That is absolutely ludicrous. It is genuinely insane. All right, see, we've got a lot less stuff here now. Now we've got all of these pets. Some of these pets are not going to make very much money. They're really not worth very much anymore. Um, some of them will sell for a bit, but a lot of them right, uh, won't. Right, we've got 50. 15, 1,600 that we got there. We got a bit last time as well from stuff from the Guild Bank. I think we've got about 2,000 now to put into the Guild Bank. Um, congrats on 60. Five of them is just being greedy, though. Uh, yeah, five. Five level 60 characters. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. She's going to have... She's got her pally already at level 55. Good gravy. She's motoring on with it here. Right, Strange Dust. Now, there's some there for 2 gold a pop, and there's quite a bit there at 499. I'm just not selling the Strange Dust. Like, low-level enchanting, it appears that it's no longer, like, a big thing. So the Strange Dust, I'm going to take an executive decision... And I'm going to sell this off a bit cheap. All right, I'm just going to go there. And I know that I've been buying it. And I've actually been buying it at higher prices than this. A lot of it I have bought a much lower price than this, mind. So a lot of it is lower than two gold. But we're just not going to get five gold a pop for it. It's just not selling at that kind of level anymore. So on that one, I'm going to cut my losses. And I'm going to sell at the lower part of it now. Uh, warrior needs to reach max level on each. You have no progress on this achievement. Right, well, I, it's not that achievement I want. We want to go to guilds. Master Pandaria Crafter we got the other day. Oh, 7th to the 7th. That was quite some time ago, actually. Craft 500 epic items from there. And if we have a look in here... Skin, 50,000 corpses. We're on 36,000. We're not doing too bad with that. 1,000 Cataclysm Flasks. We're on 200. 1,000 of them. We're on 200. For Mists, uh, Pennies, create 2,500 Glyphs. We've done 32. Disenchant, 25,000 items. is 5,000 seats. Some of these are going to take a place. 1,500 Feasts. We have placed one. Cook, 5,000 Cataclysm Cooking Recipes. We're, we've got a thousand to go. You get the broiled dragon feast recipe for that one. So there's another recipe that you can get. 
Um, 10,000 fish from fishing pools. We're up to 6,200. Um, 25,000 fish from Pandaria fishing pools. That doesn't actually give you a title or a reward or anything. Um, general. I think it's under general that we want. So spend that. We're getting there with the all adds up. That's a nice one to get. Um, and we're going to want the 8,000 things we've got the critter geddon we're up to sixty-seven thousand. that's great now it's the classy ones right here so we need a monk and a warrior up to max level night elves we need everything classy gnomes in here we've got three classes left dwarves in here yeah i was going uh, you know that's why i rolled a hunter but then someone else has gone and done it anyway that was sen she went and did that so we've got a few of them Drenai, we've only got Death Knights and Mages left to go. Worgen, we've got several in here. See, Warrior, I love the idea of a Worgen Warrior. Personally, I think that's a, like a good combination to have. And then you've got the, the, the Pandas over there. Right, anyway, so the, the, there's lots of different ones to go and do in here, but um, we, we'll worry about them later. Now, Fell Iron Ore, 45 gold for Fell Iron Ore? Right, well, the Fell Iron is mine. That's, that's not from the guild bank. Um, we're going to list that at 45 gold. I don't think we're going to get it. I really don't. I mean, flying machines at the moment, they're quite high. I haven't made one for a while. Maybe I should try and make a flying machine. I'm not sure. Right. Um, anyway, I, I, I've got work to do now. I need to start listing all of these things again. I've listed everything for sale apart from these two items which we want to sell and also the albino snake. Now, I do have one of those, but the thing about it is you buy it in Dalaran. It costs 50 gold to go and buy. I can sell it to a vendor for 12 gold 50. Unusual for a pet though, it has a deposit of 7 gold 50 for listing it for sale and that is very unusual for a pet because normally they're one silver so unless we actually sell this thing it's going to start costing us money so i'm only going to list this one once and if it doesn't sell i'm going to sell it straight to the vendor so i'm only gonna that's just gonna be a one-off list of that one at 45 gold so it's five gold cheaper than what you can go and get it for, from the vendor uh, hopefully we shift it because if you do sell you do get refunded the cost of the auction It's only if you fail you to sell something? that you don't get stuff refunded So I got sun moats right there They cost way too much to actually list and we've already listed them a few times as well So that 27 gold I'm barely breaking even on that and the ichor of undeath I've definitely lost money on those um, with honor, So friend. we need to cut our losses on them and get rid of them. The rest of the stuff wasn't too bad for cost for listing, so it's all gone back on. Let's get back and find out what's going to happen with our ongoing journey through Bastion. Right here, uh, Miley, Miley, I think, is bound with purpose. Unlock your covenants for Soulbind. Yeah, see, I haven't done any of that. Not with Frith, anyway. Auction house, auction expired for Silver Guild Pike. That was the only thing I listed from the stuff that I'm wandering around with. Um, okay, that dude has got that one right there. I know where that one drops. I know how to get that as well. And he's also got the outfit that I've got on Frith. I should really like that outfit. Like, it's, it's not like a major thing, but I, I, I do like it. There's something about it. But that is not the actual mount that I want to get. There is... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. And you can tell by the rather haunted expression on my face that delving into the world of the undead takes its toll on a man. So I'm going to rest up here in Stormwind for a bit. A uh, quick plug, if you check out the description, you'll find a link to Fanatical down there where you can buy all kinds of games. I use them myself. And if you use them via my link in the description, you will earn me a very small commission that does not affect the price that you pay. Thank you very much. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.